If traveling the open road is your dream, there's nothing better than an RV. Just ask the 7 million American families who own one. They clock close to 4,500 miles each year. Sound exhausting? Well, here's the major draw. Pull into a picturesque town and you're guaranteed a room with a view. No reservations necessary. All that and a front row seat in paradise. First stop on the fantasy tour, Palm Springs, California. A year-round desert playground for the rich and famous. Under the turquoise skies, paradise awaits for those privileged enough to afford a life of leisure. People come from all over the country to vacation here, including the Wagner family, Michael, Lori, and the kids. They're hoping to join this exclusive world of luxury motor coach travelers. Like many other wannabes, before heading to Palm Springs, they start off in Irvine, California. Ground zero for RV enthusiasts. We have a dream to live in an RV full time, uh, to take the kids and just travel around the US. And we decided that before we do that, we're gonna try it out, do it part time. As newbies to the luxury RV lifestyle, the Wagners decide that before they break the bank, they're gonna try something called fractional ownership. We were looking for about a full year to find a coach to fit our family. And uh, when we found Coach Share, we knew we had found the perfect solution for us. Here's the concept of Coach Share. Eight families own one luxury RV. Over the course of a year, they each get to spend five weeks on board. They realized that 90% of the time, their coach would sit idle if they owned the whole coach. So fractional ownership just makes sense to them. Mike, Michael and Lori wanted us to check to see if the weekend of the 6th was available. Where are they going? They're going to Palm Springs. Our first trip in the RV was all the way up the coast, three week trip. Absolutely fabulous. The RV is such a great way to travel with the family. We we're able to uh, spend real quality time with the kids. And they don't have to drive themselves crazy with preparations. That's what Mike's there for. This guy, Jim, works me like a slave driver. Somebody's got to do the dirty work. Mike, how's it looking? Perfect. We have three small children, and it's just wonderful for us not to have to think about any service issues. We don't have to worry about the maintenance of the coach. We don't have to worry about the storage. We don't have to worry about the insurance. The only thing they have to worry about is making a wish list for their trip. Tough task. They like things like uh, extra blankets for their kids. Lori really likes fresh cut flowers, so we're putting fresh cut flowers in here for her. And um, they like to have some wine now and then, so what we did is we got some special bottles of wine that we know they like, and we're putting them in the coach for them. All we need to do is pack the clothes and the food, and we're set to go. Never have to worry about anything. It's totally hassle-free. Except for one thing. The RV doesn't come with a chauffeur. That's Lori's job. Good to see you, Lori. This is Gary. He'll be doing your refresher course today. I'm here today to brush up on my skills because I get a little rusty in between trips. The important uh, things that you need to practice when you're driving a large vehicle are safe following distance. That's where accidents happen. I'm just trying my hardest to keep it as centered as I can on the road. Now this is a uh, the bus driver's trick we were talking about. Oh, yeah. You see you've got a, uh, a defined like... patch in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. And if you keep your accelerator pedal in the middle of that, you'll, uh, you'll be centered in your lane. Yeah, I like that trick a lot. Good. It is an optical illusion. It's just a, a reference point. Right. But what we are doing is redefining your reference points. Right. It feels just massive. There's just so much weight and inertia going when you're when you're driving this vehicle. Then get the heart thumping a little bit. Mm -hmm. And when you understand the tricks, it's like it's fun. It's fun. Now we're gonna do a right turn here. Are we clear on our inside? Yeah. Now when you come up on a curb, instead of watch the curb, watch your mirror. 
And notice bus drivers, when they come up on a curb, they're perfectly parallel every time. They're using their mirrors. That helps a lot. Once you go through driver training, so you're comfortable with how to maneuver on the freeway and in parking lots, it's just an amazing feeling. You're ready to head out on the road again. Have a great journey. Thank you. I feel like I'm ready to drive all the way to Palm Desert. Thank you. Now all that's left is for Jim and Mike Palmer to put the finishing touches on their Simba. Fluffed pillows, monogram towels, fresh flowers in every room, and an exterior so waxed and polished you can see your reflection. Tomorrow Mike will hand deliver this coach to the Wagners because, of course, their clients should never have to lift a finger. We give our owners the opportunity to travel in style, to make their dreams come true, to create memories that will last for a lifetime. We love traveling in the RV because Lori can drive and I can get some work done, the kids can play, but we can still all go somewhere as a family and get to you know, some great destination. Thanks to the comfort of their coach share RV, the two hours it took for Lori, Michael, and their three kids to reach the resort flew by. Check it out. Here we are. It appears that this is the place to be for our veers in the know. While the adults sip cocktails in their casitas, the kids head for the pool and take the plunge. As for Lori and Michael, they can just sit back, relax, and spend time with their family. No need to check in, nothing to unpack, and no groceries to pick up. Everything's ready and waiting for them right in here. And that's living the good life.